Ah, South Africa, Mzanzi, a country filled with so much beauty, golden sunshine, blue skies and grass fields. Yes, it has its fair share of problems, but it's also a place filled with rich culture, amazing people, and it's home to a tradition known as a braai. I think it's about time we had a braai here on Mountain Road. Follow along as I take you on a very unique gravel ride of the week. All right, so welcome back to another episode of Mountain Road Ride. And today we've got a very special gravel ride of the week lined up. Um, we've got some beautiful blue sky weather today, very similar to what you'll find in beautiful South Africa. Because what we're going to do today is kind of celebrate the South African heritage. Um, this uh, video is being pre-recorded but I'm planning to launch it on September 24th. Now September 24th is a national holiday in South Africa named Heritage Day and uh, that is one of those days where South Africans traditionally celebrate their heritage and a big part of that is a tradition known as a braai. So uh, to honor that tradition I have figured that I will bring out Two of my South African friends that I've got here in the US, I'm going to introduce them to you. We've got Henang and we've got John over here and they are going to join me on a gravel ride of the week today. Now what we're going to do today, a braai ride, uh, very much a South African tradition to have a braai, uh, but we are going to keep you in suspense just a little bit longer. Maybe if you already know what a braai means, you'll know what we're going to do. But for those Americans, if you don't know what a braai is, I'm going to hold you in suspense just a little bit longer. All right, so uh, without the, any more chit-chatting, let's get out on the road and uh, we'll be sure to mix in some good South African traditions for you throughout this ride. So if you're curious about um, the lifestyle and some of the slang that we use as South Africans, you're going to find it throughout this video. Let's go for it. Shop, shop. Shop, shop. <laughs> much better than this beautiful South African weather here in the US some South African uh, company and we're heading out for a braai <laughs> how awesome is that and uh, look at this beautiful scenery that we've got here from the Virginia countryside around us awesome maybe you're wondering about the cycling kit that I'm wearing in this video well I figured that I'll give my alma mater some airtime by sporting the kit from our 2009 University Cycle Tour. Shout out to this awesome squad. Alright, so we're making our way up this hill very nicely and you can see the beautiful views that we're presented with that climb over there is sort of some of what we're going to do we're not going to quite go up all the way to the top there where the radio towers are but uh, we'll be going along the edge of that climb a little bit later but with such a beautiful view we've got to stop and admire it and show you a little bit about the South African tradition in the form of Biltong. Now, if you haven't heard of Biltong, we've actually made a video on this channel about Biltong, so you can check that out in the link. Now, this is a local company here in the US, uh, a few South Africans who came over to the US and started this Biltong company called Ayoba. And uh, I must say, they do South African Biltong um, pretty well. Now, uh, John here, he's been known to make his own biltong as well so yeah, this is true hardcore south african when you've got your own biltong maker you know uh so you, you you've been making a few batches over the years oh yeah absolutely and it comes out very uh, very real and uh, like we uh, used to back home in south africa yeah because the the, the the trick is in the spices right the and trick is absolutely in the spices we import the spices that's it yeah, you need you need authentic South African stuff, and uh, later on, Henning is going to show us a little bit about that uh, spice collection that he's got. So uh, we're going to talk about that some more. So right now, we are going to enjoy some biltong. What it basically is is it's kind of like beef jerky if you want to put it in that category, but it's also not. It's a different process altogether. Um, this is an air dried 
um, beef rather than uh, the process that's used for jerky. So uh, let's open this up and uh, enjoy a bit of a snack, you know. Biltong and a ride. How good does this get? <laughs> lacquer, lacquer. Lacquer, all right. I think with that mention of lacquer, we got to introduce that word. You, you'll hear that a few times throughout this video. Um, now, lacquer is a very traditional South African word. A word that we use if you are short on adjectives and you want to just throw it in there that something is nice, enjoyable, pleasant, then it's lacquer. So this bike ride is lacquer, the boltong is going to be lacquer, and this weather is very lacquer as well. So uh, there you go. That's a true South African word for you, lacquer. Show you up close there. So there you go. That is biltong. Um, looks like jerky, but definitely not the same. Tastes like biltong. Tastes like biltong. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it now now. And now now, yeah, I think we have to introduce you to uh, a few variations of the South African word now. So I think in plain English, you know the word now, but uh, in South Africa, we have now, just now, and now now. If you're a South African, you would know the difference between those. Uh, if I'll do something now, it means Mm, in a little bit. I'll get to it, but a little bit later. Just now, that's that's a little sooner, so it's a bit more urgency. And now now, that's sort of the most urgent of all of them, but still not immediately. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of a interesting uh, South African slang for you on the variations of the word now. <laughs> yeah, now now can also mean anything from five minutes to two hours. So, yeah, yeah, there's something called African time. Um, so now now leaves it open for some uh, just some room for for movement. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> All right. All right, we've made it to our destination, just about to where we're gonna make our pit stop for today. We are in the Silver Lake Regional Park, just outside of Haymarket today. So right now, last little bit of gravel leading into the park and then uh, the bright can start. Let's go no bright. <laughs> So we've made it to our spot that we wanted to get to and this is what the braai is all about. Today we are going to have a cookout or a barbecue as you would know it but there is one big difference to a South African braai and that is that it has to be done with wood or with charcoal. There's no propane in braaiing. Uh, so we came out to this regional park here to uh, have a proper braai in that saddlebag that I showed you earlier. I have a bag of charcoal, we have some meat in here and we are set up to have a proper braai right now. So, welcome to our braai ride. Right, so we've got our fire on the go. How awesome is that? We brought our supplies along and uh, we're going to be able to have our braai very soon. So we've got all our meats kind of set out already. You can see the guys, they, they've been uh, you know, quite well stocked here. Um, Henning brought us some what we call braai broekies. So uh, braai bread. Um, but uh, yeah, look at that. That's uh, been nicely uh, uh, Nicely packaged up there. Um, John is putting out his meat over there. Mine is still in my uh, cool box over here, so I gotta pull that out as well. So uh, I, I brought a few steaks. Let's see what the guys have here. Steak, yep. Nice strip steak. And then uh, 
I've got some uh, porterhouse and also a steak in there as well. So, and then we have some very unique spices over here. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, the spice is what it's all about when it comes to meat, uh, biltong and also for a braai. So this is stuff all the way from South Africa, the funky Oma, so the funky grandma. <laughs> very, very cool. So uh, Henning's daughter brought this along for him from South Africa. You can actually see the proudly South African logo right on there. So meaning that this is all the way from South Africa. We're gonna be using this later on on our meat as well. Very cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sounds like a braai. Looks like a braai. Smells like a braai. Smells like a braai. <laughs> I think we're having a braai. All right, here we go. Steak is off of the fire. And uh, this is looking good. I'm excited to have this. <laughs> I don't think I've had a... Uh, uh, a bicycle ride before where I've had a braai pit stop in the middle. So th this is a first for me. This is definitely something uh, unique, something new. All rides should be like this. Yep, <laughs> I agree. <laughs> right, the braai breakies are going on. <laughs> nice. All right, so how's that meat? That's good. Perfect. It's lacquer. Lacquer. <laughs> I told you, we use lacquer a lot. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me on the Gravel Ride of the Week, Bry Ride Edition. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. This was, this was a good ride. Not the best, uh, the best mid ride break I've ever had. So, um, <laughs> we can just do it again. Yeah, no, we, we enjoyed this. This is something unique for all of us. Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the spin along with us. Um, gave you a little bit of a taste of what it's like in South Africa to go out and have a braai with a few friends and uh, today we threw in some bikes. We uh, feel a little lazy after this, uh, this meal, it's almost like we want to take a nap somewhere underneath the trees right now. But uh, we're going to wrap up our ride, head back to where we started. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this spin along with us. Thanks so much for riding along today. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and do hit that subscribe button. We'll be back in the future with a lot more Gravel Ride of the Week content. Until next time, I'm Vian, it's John and Henning. Uh, see you next time. Enjoy your ride.